Hello everyone, I'm Marina and that's a Grammel School. Welcome to our pedicure segment. And today's topic is one of the most requested ones. It's all about how to do a pedicure at home. Let's get into it. Here are today's toenails. Note that all the pedicures here are done by our professional pedologist Olga. And now she's going to do her own pedicure and a nail polish coating. It's not the easiest video format, because it's tricky to find a good angle to film a proper pedicure video, especially of one doing their own nails. But I'm sure you're going to love it. First, let's take a look at all the tools and materials. We're going to need a liquid soap, a foot scrub, a degreaser to prep the nails, nippers, lint-free tissues, a buffer, a nail file, toe separators, and a good brush. As for the products, we will need a cuticle softener or remover and some nail polish to do a coating. We will also need a foot scrubber for rough skin and a cuticle oil. So this set is enough to do a proper pedicure at home. First, let's remove the nail polish using a tissue or a cotton pad. Cotton pads absorb more liquid, so the process goes faster. And if there's glitter in nail polish, it will take more time to remove. So if it won't go, we can just file it off. Or apply a wet cotton pad to it and wait for it to get soaked. By the way, on my channel there has been a video on why we'd better avoid gel polish in a pedicure. It's all about its pros and cons and why nail polish is preferable. So make sure to check it out if you want to learn more about it. Next up we need to form a square shape. Never round up the corners in a pedicure. Otherwise, there is a risk of ingrown or curled nails. And make sure to do the same with your kids' toenails. That's crucial. And there are many moms who don't know about it and cause toenail problems. And overall, I think that pedicure is often neglected. Because people can see our hands, so we tend to take care of the skin and do gorgeous coatings and nail arts. And we forget about our feet. While foot care is tremendously important. Because there is so much pressure on our feet. If the skin is dry, it may crack and get infected with bacteria, fungus and so on. Because most of that happens on the toes. We recommend you use an orange stick to push the cuticle at home. To avoid traumatizing the skin and the toenails. Then grab a buffer and mat the surface with its rough side. This step helps to partly clean up the pterygium. So it will be easier to process it. Now let's prepare a pedicure bath. A professional one is not necessary. You may fill any bowl with water, add some soap, and soak your feet for about 5 minutes. Then grab a scrubber, and it should be an individual one, not the one that the entire family uses. Because if there are any skin diseases, they will literally rub off on your feet. I'm sure you're aware, but just in case, I must inform you. We need to make round moves. Doing your feet at home, I recommend you start with a soft file. Because a hard one may badly scratch the skin. Then apply some foot scrub on the feet and between the toes. We may rinse it off, 
or put some food wrap around it and let it soak for a better effect. It gently polishes the rough areas and softens the skin. So make sure to treat yourself to this little pampering step. And now rinse off the scrub and proceed with the pedicure. We'll be using some cuticle remover. Note that if it's alkaline, it's likely to tingle a bit. And then make sure to keep it off your hands to avoid traumatizing the skin there. If that happens, quickly rinse it off. Now grab an orange stick and clean up the areas under the nails. Remove the clogged skin and lift up the cuticle. Note that we're not using a metal pusher here. Again, to avoid any traumas. And now we can cut the skin with nippers. Or scissors if you wish. Cut off only those parts that stick out. Do not be too particular here, because it's not the hands. So there is no need for a deep cleanup. The cuticle on the toes protects the matrix from bacteria. So we just need a hygienic pedicure for a clean look. And for that, we don't get too deep. No excavating. The toes have already transformed. Now do not forget to rinse off the leftover remover to stop its further effect in the skin. Now set up a toe separator with a flat side up to get it out the way and to grease the toenails. It's a crucial step. This one by Kinetics can be used without a base coat. We put it on the nails right away. But if you are using darker shades, we recommend you use a base coat to prevent the pigment from staining the nail. I've come across yellowish toenails so many times and that wasn't fungus. Obviously, we can't diagnose fungus by the photo, but it's often just a nail polish stain. And I'm sure you've noticed that too doing bright manicures. His bold colors stain badly. We do a thin layer of nail polish and wait for it to dry. Otherwise, the coating won't last. A degreaser provides better bonding. You may know this step from crafts or repair works, because any surface needs to be degreased first. Moving on to nail polish. There is a video about it as well on my channel. And if you have stained the skin, clean it up with a stick with acetone or use a micro brush or a correcting pen. Just make sure that it's clean. Then do a medium layer of top coat and wait for it to dry. And we finish it off with some cuticle oil. A small amount, gently rub it in to moisturize the skin. And add some foot cream to prevent cracks on the skin. The cream choice will depend on the skin, whether it's dry or sweating. And I believe we should film a video about that too. So let me know in the comments what pedicure videos you'd like to see next. And here's a final look. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I wish you all success in your work. Good luck. Bye bye.